Ketov, good morning. Today is Thursday, May 25th, Erev Shavuot. Tonight we receive the Torah. Or actually tomorrow morning at daybreak we receive the Torah, but tonight we already prepare ourselves to receive the Torah. The Torah describes that after the Jews have arrived at the foot of the mountain, in Pasuk Gimel, Umoshe Allah El HaElohim, and Moshe went up to the mountain, and God called to him from the mountain, saying, So shall you say to the house of Jacob, and, um, and say to the children of Israel. The Ramban and the Ibn Ezra have a disagreement in understanding the opening words. When it says, Moshe, Allah, Moshe went up to God, and God called to him from the mountain. What is the uh, the real order of events? The Ibn Ezra says, "Betam ikra elav Hashem" means ukvar ukvar elav Hashem, and God had already called to him. God had had called to Moshe, and that's why Moshe went up the mountain. Why is that important to the Ibn Ezra? So he says, "Ki lo rishut lo Allah." Without having, um, without, without having permission, he would never have gone up. And that's what it means that Moshe went up the mountain because God had called to him, gave him permission to go up. The Ramban disagrees, and uh, as often he does with Ibn Ezra. And he contends instead, Ki Allah el Kitsehahar lahizdamein lefanav. He had gone up to the edge of the mountain to 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 make himself uh, prepared to prepare himself there before God. He did not enter the uh, the fog of the of the of God's cloud where God was because that's not to do and that you can't do without the invitation to come nigh right to come on in that happens later. The end of Parshat Mishpatim, when Moshe will actually go up to the mountain to spend 40 days with God, 40 days and 40 nights to receive the Torah and learn from God in a very powerful way. But right now, that's not what happened. And so Moshe thinks it's okay. It's okay to, uh, to make himself available there to go up the mountain. You don't need an invitation for that. And here I think there is um, a possible uh, you know, a philosophical dispute here. For the Ibn Ezra, that's you know, there's, there's a holdback. A person, you know, there's a, there's a more of a um, hesitancy to step where you shouldn't, uh, where, where you're not sure you should be, and to take the steps towards without knowing that um, that you are yet welcome. Whereas for the Ramban, it's different. Firstly, we should just remind ourselves, Moshe has done this before, right? Moshe has been on this mountain where he was shepherding the flocks. And uh, went up the mountain, and there, he, and there he came across the bush, and that's where God spoke to him. And God told him to come back to this mountain. So he's got some familiarity with the space. Um, and so this is where I kind of know where I am. But there's a, there is this essential teaching, I think, in the Ramban, which is, you know what? Look, you don't you don't go into the uh, into the inner sanctum, as it were, without without the invitation. But um, you do place yourself right there at the edge. So that you should be seen. Think about, right? Think about Lahav in a different kind of way. How Esther presents herself, uh, puts herself out there in front of the king. She says, "You know, I, I can't come in without being called, but I can at least put myself at the edge, right at the entrance, and hopefully he'll take notice of me." And uh, the folks who don't place themselves by the entrance, or don't put themselves in the mountain, aren't going to be called in. It's only the people who put themselves, present yourself, place yourself. Take notice of me, God. You're the one. And that's, of course, what the intention was. Your God, God wants Moshe to be there. But Moshe and models for us a statement about taking the first steps. And I hope that as we uh, approach this festival of Shavuot, we keep that in, our mi- in mind. It's a very busy time. We, uh, we're working late, a lot of folks. We're not making young stuff until uh, just before sunset. 
and uh, not no early yanta for you know on our part really happening. And uh, okay, we're thinking about the cheesecake. Oh yeah, then we'll have some cl- courses and, and, and discussions. We'll stay up late. There's a group that's staying up, God willing, all night long as well. Not just the evening uh, um, Torah learning that we're going to have. And that's all good, but put yourself in a mindset, folks. Put yourself there. Allow yourself to come, to come close. You can't come in, but come to the doorway. That is, um, that is a, a, a model as Ramban would have it for us that Moshe sets for us all, and let us have indeed powerful experiences ourselves with God. Wishing you all a chag sameach.